A lot of you are probably starting to think seriously about Lab 2 now, and I thought it would be good to give you uh, some hints on how to get started. And so uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. If you take a look at the lab description in Canvas, it will tell you that uh, we're trying to help you to become familiar with stacks. I would really suggest you watch this video on the shunting yard, which is going to really help you do it. And you're going to find these examples here really helpful too. How do you do parentheses matching? Notice here that the algorithm is almost real code. It tells you to create an empty stack and go, steps right through what's going to happen, as well as telling you what your stack should look like and the remaining string should be for a whole example. So that's going to be very valuable to you. Um, uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about code that you're given. You're given a main.cpp as well as an expression manager interface.h file that you will need to inherit from and main.cpp will call expression manager uh, <coughs> class to actually uh, do the things he needs to. So we're going to create expression manager Dot h and expression manager dot cpp. Okay, and he, other than that, he will do all the tests for you and determine whether you're getting it right. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, notice that to get started, we're going to need to click on this here button to go to the GitHub repository. <clears throat> this Git, Git repository is going to talk a lot about the uh, each of the steps here and some tips towards the end that uh, you need to kind of pay attention to. Okay, So let's go ahead and clone that repository and copy that link. And we're going to go ahead and grab that into our Cloud9. <clears throat> so I can just say git clone and paste that a URL in. And it's going to go ahead and create this directory lab2-expressions. So I can see in CD into there, lab2 dash expressions. And here are all my files that I will need to work on. Okay. So the first thing that it talked about that we need to do was to go ahead and create a couple of files. We need expression manager dot h and we also need a Expression manager .cpp. Okay, and we're also going to need a make file. So create a make file, and <clears throat> we've already seen some tips on what needs to go in this make file. Uh, if we go back to the lab description, it's going to tell us that we need to uh, uh, use this. Uh, command or this option for the C, G++ or GNU++ compiler. So let's go ahead and put that into our make file. Um, so we will, we're will we going to create, uh, here's the behavior we're going to want to do. And so we're going to say that we want lab2, which is the binary we're going to create, to depend on uh, main.cpp and expression manager.cpp. You can also put expression manager.h in there. And then if you change either of these files, either the include file or the cpp file, it will go ahead and rebuild uh, the uh, project for you. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save that out. And uh, <coughs> now we want to start. Uh, looking at here, here's our expression manager interface. I can go ahead and copy this. Uh, notice that we uh, are using pragma once instead of the if defs that we used before. This just says if this has already been, been included once, don't include it again. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select all of this file. Uh, controller command A and then controller command C and copy the whole thing into my expression manager.h. And so <clears throat> here I am. 
Um, I'm now going to want to uh, change this to be a class expression manager that <coughs> is a uh, public expression manager interface and I will also want to include expression manager interface dot h and <clears throat> then um, of course the constructor and the destructor will now have the names of this expression manager uh, instead of ex expression manager interface and now I'm just going to go through and here's all of the uh, functions I'm going to need to implement and notice these comments give you a lot of hints as to what to do here but I'm going to go ahead and we're not going to have these be virtual anymore and also I'll go ahead I know I need an is balanced uh, function I know that I need a post fix to infix function which I'll go ahead and uh, create my CPP file. I know that I need a um, <coughs> post fix evaluate function and uh, a infix to post fix function. Okay, so now I can go ahead and uh, these are all defined in my include file. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy them and create uh, real functions in my CPP file. So let's go ahead and go to my expression manager.cpp file. <coughs> Paste all this junk in here and I'm going to get rid of most of this because uh, I want to be able to see stuff. But we know that we need this is balanced function so it's going to be an expression manager colon colon is balanced and it is going to return a boolean so I might want to say well let's do a C out and uh, just tell them where I am and uh, what the string is and then I can tell what's going on and let's just make this a stub we're going to return a true okay uh, all the time and then later on you're going to implement this but we want to get to where we can compile as soon as possible okay so let's go ahead and uh, <coughs> implement the next function here this post fixed input infix it's also going to be an expression manager class function so we throw that on there and <clears throat> it's going to have a post fix expression uh, passed to it so we'll go ahead and print that out as well and then um, we're going to do this for all of the functions here in this particular case uh, this is going to return a string so let's just return something like uh, a string and um, then we're going to go ahead and implement that later um, we've got postfix evaluate which we're going to do the same thing to it's going to um, It's going to, uh, by the way, I know this seems like a lot of work <coughs> to put in debug statements, but it's going to pay off, believe me, when you start figuring out what's going on here. And uh, he wants to return a string as well. <coughs> and we're almost done. Here's my infix to postfix function that 
will also return a string and we'll go ahead and uh, put a little debug statement in there as well. Okay, so we're now, this is an infix expression and all of these things need to be class functions. And now I'm starting to feel like I have done way too much work without compiling and testing my code. So I basically now hopefully got a <coughs> CPP file for Expression Manager. A um, <coughs> Here's my include file that inherits from Expression Manager interface. And I've probably forgotten a dozen or so things, but we'll let the compiler help us with that. Uh, in here, I need to include um, expression manager dot h, and <clears throat> let's see how many uh, errors I am going to have. So here I am. I'm sitting in this file. I've now got my make file and uh, expression manager .cpp and expression manager .h should be able to type um, uh, make and it says expression manager is misspelled. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and change that. Hopefully it will be better now. <clears throat> okay, so uh, let's see. Uh, he is unhappy with me returning true. Uh, so for now, I'm not sure exactly why that is occurring. But let's go ahead and just return a one, which will probably be okay for now, and do a make. And now we can kind of see how things are working. Okay, so let's take a look at main.cpp. What he's going to do, here's our main code. He is going to say, I am going to <clears throat> open up all of these input files, file one, file two, file three, file four, file five, and I am going to um, run through them, read their contents, and then do what they say. So here's all of the files I'm going to read from. And for example, here's file one. It's going to say call is balanced with this string. So what main is going to do is he's going to say, oh, I'm going to read from that file. <clears throat> and if it has is balanced as the first string, then I'm going to go ahead and call the class function is balanced, passing the rest of the string. Okay, so what you can expect is uh, from file one, he is going to call your is balanced function first, passing at this string. Okay, so if we want to, we can go ahead now and run this code dot slash lab two it will go ahead and start printing out. These are just the debug statements we put in there, right? It's going to go ahead and print out. Uh, here's the fi reading file one. Here is the, uh, uh, here's the debug. He called your is, is balance function with this particular string and so forth. And then he will actually create out files. <coughs> here's out files. Notice that I'm returning true on every single one of these, even though some of them are not true. So that's going to be the next step is to go ahead and fill in those stubs with good code. But this are, these are the output files that are created by running your code. Okay, <clears throat> These key files are what the correct answers should be. Okay, So that's what you'd like to eventually get. And there's also a file called check.shell here that will go ahead and compare the key file to your out file and tell you if you've got errors. Okay, So if I wanted to, I can go ahead here. 
after I've run this, <clears throat> I can uh, I can say bash check dot shell, and he will go ahead and compare those files, and he will say, oh look, they differ. There was something wrong here, and so there's a problem. And what you're going to want to do is go ahead and keep working on that until you these say there's no problems. And then you'll go ahead and have this turn in file that you can go ahead and turn into the uh, Canvas uh, auto, auto grader. Okay? So that kind of hopefully gets you started. And uh, <clears throat> Um, go ahead and uh, get working on this. You notice that there's quite a bit of work to do, but there's also quite a bit of help. So this video is going to give you a lot of help on how to do things. Parentheses matching, these things are going to get you a lot of help. So just start working on them one function at a time, and I think this is going to be a lot of fun. Again, how in, the, in this code we're going to learn how to use stacks.